We will disrupt you in the streets. We will close down the bridges. We will disrupt you in restaurants. We will turn your life into a nightmare. As so many of our college campuses, particularly the most expensive so-called elite campuses, have erupted into hotbeds of anti-Semitism and hate. Columbia University is one of the worst of those hotbeds. Columbia stands guilty of gross negligence at best, and at worst has become a platform for those supporting terrorism and violence against the Jewish people. My name is Minu Shafiq, and I'm the 20th president of Columbia University. That is what universities are meant to do, to teach students how to think, not what to think. Okay, so I'm going to ask you to reflect on why you are asking this and what you are hoping to get from this question. My question is, where is this coming from in your brain right now? And I want you to reflect on that because we're going to move on. If there's any someone demonstration how profound this is, that's how profound it is. Thank you. 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 Thank a place that can weigh the most difficult questions in the world in a civilized, respectful fashion. Columbia School of Social Work uh, has a glossary uh, which identifies capitalism as a system of economic oppression. It's a white supremacist order. We somehow see capitalism as an anathema of liberal modernity, yet we don't understand the basic plain fact that capitalism within the, without the nation state would not survive, though they may short, short term animosities. Do we not have alternative forms of governance and economics and alternative ways of being, seeing, and conceiving of the world besides what the white man has had this looks over? I hope uh, that your academics visit Pyongyang. I've been to Pyongyang. I've seen the benefits of socialism and communism. Uh, they have reduced uh, what was the wealthiest part of Korea into the poorest. The thought of saying that capitalism is oppressive uh, is so insulting and, uh, and stupid. And, and historically incorrect. And uh, uh, communism, socialism, fascism do not work. Capitalism does. That's why America is the most successful country on earth. I yield back. Let me bring your attention to Muhammad Abdu, who was hired after the October 7th terrorist attack against Israel. He, on October 11th, posted, yes, I'm with Hamas and Hezbollah and Islamic Jihad. Change doesn't happen vis-a-vis -vis numbers. How much of a small group defeated the larger enemy? Look what a thousand, we'll call them what you want to call them, in Gaza, did in so far as upturn the entire world. Get a thousand warriors and see what could happen in the world. We've seen it before and we'll continue to see the gap. That's change. And yet, Columbia hired this individual as a professor. He will, he will never work at Columbia again. Let me ask effective. about Professor Catherine Frank from the Columbia Law School, who said that all Israeli students who have served in the IDF are dangerous and shouldn't be on campus. What disciplinary action has been taken against that professor? Right. Uh, hearing in Congress. Right. Mm -hmm. It's a very small circle of people she relies on, and they are not, um, they're not the more vocal members of the community. Really? That's for sure. Are they more pro-Israel, maybe? Oh, yeah. And the general counsel, I think, is very closely advising her, and she's very Zionist. I'm asking you what disciplinary action has been taken. She has been to spoken to by a very senior person in the administration, and she has said that that was not what she intended to say. And has she publicly apologized? I have suggested that. This is America. It's 2024, and you shouldn't fear going to the library just because of your faith. I think you know, not having somebody like banging on the outside of the library, which we're going to keep doing. <laughs> and just to let you know, uh, Mr. Abdu is not grading papers right now. He's on campus at the unsanctioned anti-Israel, anti-Semitic uh, event that is being supported by pro-Hamas activists on campus. So that's what Professor Abdu is doing at this very moment. I'll give you back your time. I don't pledge allegiance to no American flag, let alone to no constitution. I don't call myself an American, and I've never called myself a Canadian. I may enjoy the privileges of a certain citizenship or so, but that is the difference between acknowledging privilege and complicity within the very land that I stand on. Okay. Rashid Khalidi, a professor of your university now and former PLO spokesperson called Columbia Anti-Semitism Task Force bigots and fanatics and right-wingers and extremists. This is all on the record. And they pick bigots and fanatics, right-wingers.
terrorists and extremists and people who have attacked students to be in an anti-Semitism task force. And you hired Rashid Khalidi, professor of un your university, that former PLO spokesperson. Yeah. We don't have any ongoing complaints around those other two professors. Two former Israeli soldiers who are students at the School of General Studies use an Israeli military grade weapon. Students of mine that have been subjected to a terrorist chemical weapons attack on Columbia campus. There was an incident involving students that were protesting that were attacked with a toxic, toxic chemical substance. We think it was an odorous substance. Uh, 